Unlocked. Time to level up. Hello, everyone, once again. My name is Cap Kev, but you can call me Kevin. And today I am with, once again, Zack Attack 81397. And that is an interesting name, man. How did you come up with that? I can't do this every time. <laughs> I'm running out of excuses just gotta, for my username. You just, you just, you just got to make up stuff, you know? Just Don't you know how to wing it? No. No, you don't know how to wing wing it? it. (laughs) Wow. Well, today I believe Zach is happy to talk about this um, topic. I don't know where to to start. He wants to talk about, so Zach, take it over while we enter our first game. Okay. You know, I thought it'd be a really fun idea Mm -hmm. if we talked about um, OnlyFans and the porn industry. Um really not so much about porn but like what the effects are how it you know plays in the your everyday life but you're familiar with only fans right yeah i'm i'm familiar with the with the only fans where these whim these women i don't know what they would call themselves some people call them. <laughs> I don't know what they would call themselves. Well, 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 because they would call them either they would call themselves either content creator, entertainment, entertainers, or entrepreneurs. So see, I don't there's know. so many different like backlash. You know, yeah. when they look at it, they are content creators. If someone else looks at it, they're. I don't want to be harsh, but like. But we kind we kind we kind of have to it, a little bit because it's just how how people view them as you know. Right, and like how we create videos, we are content creators. Yeah, where we are they content create... creators. We are we are talking. We are recording a gameplay. We're playing a gameplay right now. Oh. We're talking. We're talking about possibly top a topic that we had in mind, or we're just winging it. You know, that's that's creating content. I it's just say, a different type of content. Yeah, you know? it's a it's different just... time. I think it's more of entertainment for you or or um, uh, what's the word? Uh, pleasure. I don't think that's the right word to say. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I think it's all relative to whoever's viewing it. That's mm-hmm. how everything like yeah. this can be considered content where someone else might be like, hey, this is, you know, a waste of time. Mm-hmm. Or it just doesn't. However, if you look at OnlyFans and the porn or YouTube, it's all content. It's just all the type of content that's put out. We put out games. They put out naked pictures. Naked um, pictures. Some people might like naked pictures. Some people might like games. Yeah. But in the end, it's all content. But I want to know what gives the viewers the idea that that you are willing to pay how much a m- per month subscription for this person when you can easily go to Google, <laughs> type in type in that creator if you if if it's if it's possible, and someone out there was nice enough to either record screen record this with the audio and stuff and was able to publish it to a to a different website for you for free like you're just getting that like like there were so much pirating ideas that are much easier to do than um pay like 20 bucks a month for for to to see a picture of 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 women's women's feet (laughs) now 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 i'm not i'm not that kind of person i don't know what the deal is with people with foot fetish um i'm more you know i'm just i can't bash on people's fetishes well no i'm not bashing but i'm just like i don't know you know you can tell me what what the deal is so i can understand it more because you know i'm always i'm always out of out of the loop with lots of things but it's like I'm more, I'm more of passion. Uh, someone who actually cares about me. Someone so, who's. <laughs> well, first of all, I want to take a step back. I mm-hmm. want to explain, like, for people who may not know what OnlyFans are, it's a platform. If you think of it like Patreon as well, it's a Patreon. platform that you can publish your content. People pay for subscriptions. Um, 
it's it's more towards a lot of what you see about OnlyFans is for women or men or anybody to post their explicit content and make some money. Now, it's not all that. There's other things. Maybe people are graphic designers and they want mm-hmm. some extra income to support what they do. Um, OnlyFans wasn't necessarily meant for just pornography. Uh, it's really? just kind of what it's turned into over time. You're telling me OnlyFans, you could have done graphic design stuff? Well, think of it like Patreon. You know how people can pay for, you know, and they can support. I, I would call it support. Maybe not pay. They will support your cause by donating money. And that, you know, money was well, help you well, that, achieve. Well, that's pay. Well, it's like if you're, doing, if you're doing graphic design and stuff, you could do Patreon for that. Well, yeah, it's essentially kind of the same. It's just a different name, mm. but it's turned into more pornography, and it's pretty lucrative for for some females. I mean, okay. let's see, that's what I know it for. I've never used OnlyFans. I would never pay for content yeah, that I can I, get I for free on like Pornhub or any porn <laughs> website. Oh, and speaking Mr. of Pornhub. Zach- Exactly. The topic, <laughs> the topic for this one was OnlyFans and the porn industry. Now, uh-huh. just because they kind of go hand in hand, and I mean hand in hand, like together, <laughs> not your dick in your hand, Kevin. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I mean, uh, it sure I mean, it was a pretty good, clever but... thing there, buddy. You <laughs> <laughs> put a lot of time into this. Not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the you're the one with the bullet points. Like I like I said, like I don't know what the wh- where we where we start. You know, I'm just following your your lead this time. Yeah. So OnlyFans, you know, women posting their content to make money, and more power to them. They can do whatever they like. Um, like I said, I would never pay for nude photographs of or even videos. I want to say OnlyFans is more personal because they can interact with you. Whereas if you're watching pornography, um, you kind of just watch Mm -hmm. what was already made. There's no interaction with it. Um, You can pay extra on OnlyFans and, you know, they might message you like, oh, hey, you know, I've seen things where they you can pay and they'll rate your dick. You know, you send them pictures of your penis and they're like, oh, that's a good looking penis or, you know, stuff like that. Now, are they um, trying to make you feel good, or are they, are they going to bash you there? Because I'm just like, what? Well, it's a business thing, if you think about it. They they put their self-respect on the line. <laughs> um, and they're most likely going to write you good, or rate you good, because they want you to come back. They mm-hmm. want you to spend money. And for some, it, it works very good. I've seen content creators like that on OnlyFans where they're pulling in hundreds of thousands of dollars in like a month. Now, I think I'm in the wrong business. Um, I don't think I would do it, but if I could sell naked pictures... I thought you were about to say, I'm in the wrong business. I'm in the wrong business. I should start selling pictures of myself. (laughs) I mean, if the payout, the risk and reward gotta be, uh, you know, up there, but... I can never show my face in it. Well, yeah, def- <laughs> definitely, because like, the if you ever if you ever tried <laughs> to if you if you ever wanted to be done with this OnlyFans or porn or whatever, it's it's a difficult it's difficult because you are now labeled as as this thing, and you right. don't want to be labeled anymore. Like 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 look at me M- Mia Khalifa. Do you know mm-hmm. who who this person is? Um, I'm going to say I do. I'm not going to say how I know of her, but I do. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to say it either, (laughs) too, you know. But she she tried to stick up for herself and left the industry, tried to become a sports, a sports analytic. And then and like she could never she never could, could could make her make her moment because she was she was only known as as the woman I just watched last night giving a <laughs> give giving a deep one to a teacher because because your math grade is so bad. Okay, yeah. So I know with Mila Khalifa, so she wasn't in the porn industry very long. She was very popular mm-hmm. for the short time. She didn't have that many films, or yeah. I think she might have had a lot of films, just not a long time. 
and I know she took a step away from it. And she did some other things, like, yeah. didn't she do, like, an education thing or whatever? I mean, it was still, like, sexual, maybe, but... Maybe. I really I really have no idea. I just I just know that she, <clears throat> she, she thought that, like, oh... I'm popular now. That means that I'll get get. I I don't know. I don't know if it was that, but it's like I, I can do. I I'm pretty popular. That means that I would like to f- fulfill something that I truly want to do, sports stuff. But then you know, people only well, the the amount of death threats she mm-hmm. got from doing porn yes. too, because she would wear her hijab. So she was Middle Eastern. I'm, yeah. I want to say uh, like Libya. She can't. Or... She can't. She can't even go back to her to her country. Yeah. Yeah. She can't even go back to her country because because she's 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 labeled as this, and that's a big mm-hmm. and that's a big thing too. You know, I would I would like to say kudos to these to these ladies for for doing what you doing this because you think it's fun and you enjoy showing your showing how proud you are in these pictures. Or whatever you do for your content, but like, just right. all the backlash, the threats, and the um, and just being labeled, you know, yeah. Kudos to them if you can handle it. Good job, but for the people that like we're thinking about doing it, like just just think of the just just think of the cons and the pros and cons to it. Yes, you can make lots of money. We all need money. We understand if you are struggling and this is like the and this this is like your last your last option. Okay, I get that. You need money, but just think of the consequences that are that's going to go through it. You right. Know? So well, that's the thing too. In the porn industry, mm-hmm. there's not a lot of money to be made for the females. So that's where OnlyFans comes in. You have. Because in the, the porn industry, we, we, you, it's a const, it's, it's constant. You see more and more females than guys going for it. So, yeah, I want to so say maybe porn, it's a stepping stone if they're going in that direction for mm-hmm. explicit content. Yes. I think porn is their way in. Then there's not that much money, and I want to say that's where OnlyFans comes in. You can control mm-hmm. your content. You can control yes. what goes out. You can, you can do control what you how f- much money you make. Yeah, you can control what you feel comfortable with. Exactly. You, know, you don't. You don't have to be forced by a director. You are the director. Which I guess that I guess now as we are talking about, yes, they are they are content creators. They're their own content creators now. They got they got the label content creator. Well, yeah. But and I, I, I like that you mentioned that you have the control to do with your comfortable with. You know, mm-hmm. you go to porn. Maybe they're like, "Hey, you're gonna have a scene. You're just gonna get, you know, just some standard missionary vaginal sex stuff like that." And then you get there, they're like, "Well, actually, we're gonna have you do this." And then you know, maybe they're gonna do anal. Or another guy comes in that you didn't sign up for, and now you're kind of pressured. You know, mm-hmm. like you're gonna do this, or you're not gonna get the yeah. paycheck. Um, which is kind of, I don't want to call it rapey, but it's like coercing them to do something they don't want to do. Um, and you don't have to do that in your OnlyFans, once again, because you control what you put out. Mm-hmm. And I want to say it's, I want to say doing OnlyFans, even porn in general, for these females who are confident enough to go in that industry... I want to say for them, like, now this is just strictly me thinking, you know, I will never understand unless I have partaken in it or if I was a female in that industry. But I want to say for them, it's got to be empowering. You know, like, hey, this is my body. I can do this and feel okay with it. And I'm not going to let anybody judge me for my choices. You know? So... And, and mm-hmm. I don't know. It's it's there's the uh, positives, there's the pros, there's the cons. And What's just, the imp- go into more about the empowering for me. I'm like so yeah. Emp- like I said, it's kind of empowering because there's they feel because you said they feel confident about how, how they look. Yes. Well, yeah, it's self empowering. You know, like you know, I am gonna do this. I'm comfortable with my body. 
I'm comfortable with the way I look. I'm not going to let someone mm-hmm. tell me otherwise. There's always going to be critics. There's always mm-hmm. going to be someone oh, that's yes. like, mm, you're not good enough. Oh, yeah. And you might get there's, that. There's and, critics for everything. Exactly. Um, and you see it in porn. Like, there's comments and stuff, and some people will just bash on the female, um, the way they performed in the scene. It's like, dude, you're the one sitting there watching porn. If you're mm-hmm. going to critique it it's like why don't you go get laid yourself i mean there's a bunch of of people there's a bunch of people that that just wish (laughs) (laughs) that just wish like man what a lucky i would totally enjoy that every single night or whatever like like there's some crazy people (laughs) there's some crazy comments i haven't Mm -hmm. seen i don't think there's any like bashing comments that i have that i've witnessed but it's just like there's some crazy people out there um yeah so okay when i watch a porno i'm not uh, looking through the comments (laughs) <laughs> I get what I, I need, make, and I get. I out. gotta, I got, I gotta make sure that you know, she's not, she's not a bully. You know, <laughs> look in the comments. Uh, one comment, I don't know. Next, oh shoot! Come on, come on, come on! No! <laughs> oh my! God. I, I missed that putt. Sorry, I was more oh, focused man. on my putt than this. It's a rim job. Get it, worn. <laughs> Oh, uh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. This is, this um, is golf, man. We're playing golf. <laughs> yeah, empowering. They can make the money that they deserve from what they put out. Like, if you look at porn. Okay, so mm. Pornhub has got, like, the monopoly on the porn industry. They own, or, well, their parent company owns just about, like, 90% of the major porn companies out there. Mm-hmm. So they're paying these women very little for the work that they do. They might only get like five, six hundred bucks for a scene. And you think about it, it's like an hour, an hour and a half for some I mean, of these a, full length. I mean, pornos. that's a paycheck. That's a paycheck. For yeah. Like, for the stuff that you have to do, you know, the stuff well, like, you see in porn, mm-hmm. there's, you know, like the vaginal, the anal, the oral double penetration, cum shots, money shots. This is going to be very inappropriate for <laughs> the younger viewers. Um I feel like younger viewers get away with a lot of things though why, that they watch nowadays. The stuff, the stuff that comes out of young viewers' mouths are like the stuff that they have seen. It's like, man, in my okay, childhood well, was so thing. different. The porn is so easy to access nowadays. When, when I was younger, it was not that easy. I had like a magazine. I had a Playboy magazine. That I had like no internet. I had dial-up internet. You know how slow that was. <laughs> and then we had one computer in the house, so trying to watch porn. It, it was a very different time. Nowadays, mm-hmm. these kids can just pull out their phone, Google whatever they want, and then boom. And there's and there's and this freebie websites. There's even and then like there's also web websites that are trying their best to like crack crack down nowadays. Mm-hmm. It's just like <laughs> to the point where you need to make yourself an an account. <laughs> And then, right, and, and you know, and, and you know, and you know, that's like that's like the biggest cock block right there for for people nowadays because it's like, oh no, that's gonna be all up in my emails. I yeah, I don't an want email. an account for like, no. a porn website. First of all, why do these porn websites have a share button? No, you can put it to your Facebook. <laughs> they have a share button. Yeah, I don't. First of all, I don't want people knowing what I'm watching. Well, I mean, I'm not too, watching anything who, extreme, who, but who like would still. Share? <laughs> that's actually that's actually a bit a bit of a oh, Jesus Christ, Manili, I can't I can't I can't hit for shit in this game, but <laughs> but but I do gotta say, um, back maybe um, maybe when I first moved into this house, I ooh, 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 hang on hang on hang on, I am deep into this shot right now. Hang on, your balls deep into this shot. <laughs> So anyway, oh my god, okay. <laughs> so anyway, I uh I remember when I joined this well I, well I didn't know that this that this group was PC gaming only cuz I was a console guy and I remember when I one of my videos I played this guy was like, "Hey, we got we're kind of we're kind of like the like the like small business style of like the Vanoss crew. They they just want to like they wanted to like somehow label themselves as like as like that." Um Oh shit! I went too far. But anyway, I remember one time, like I, I literally had to put put the Discord chat on 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 mute because I just couldn't handle with all the texting and texting. But I know one guy shared m- midget porn. <laughs> so 
Um, yeah, the I I I got to um, agree that the, um, that the midget ship on... is an offensive term nowadays. You need to use little people. Well, it was part of the title. The title said. Girl, yeah, girl, no. girl, girl, going down on midgets. I don't, I don't know. But it's just like, thanks, man. I'm so proud to be in this group. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Did you hear that motorcycle? Just yeah, I in the did. Background? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's interest. It's is interested in our podcast. <laughs> so like, well, I'm not gonna lie. About? I, I might have been through a curious phase at one point. I have oh. seen, you know, little people porn. It's, uh, you you got to experience everything at once, I will say. Not my cup of tea. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think, I, I, I've never witnessed that, and I would still say it's not my cup of tea. I know everyone has their own opinions, own, own fantasies. You do what you do, you know, I'm not here to control your life, but. It's crazy out there how, how, I don't even know how it was back in the day. I know you said back in the day, magazines, uh, slow computers, video, videotapes, definitely videotapes and DVDs back in the day. But it was, it was more restricted when we used to have, you know, blockbusters or your family videos. And then they would have the little, the little section (laughs) <laughs> where it's where it's where it's cut off. So like yes, it was it was very more strict and not popular. Now now I feel like it has taken taken its stand, and 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 everything nowadays is just all about OnlyFans. Porn. Yeah. The porn industry is like like I don't think you can go. I don't know if you can go a day without hearing about. Um, about the the industry, right. because because recently I, I so I watched this YouTuber. His name is Philip DeFranco. He is a YouTube news guy, and recently I know that. So he just talks about the, the topics and yeah, yeah, like like the, the the topics that have happened and all that stuff. But recently, if do you know a OnlyFans? Maybe she's. Uh, in the in the the industry as well too, name Bella Daphine. Oh, Bella Daphine, yeah. Bella Daphine, she was in the news again because she got her money back from trying to sell her bath water that she was in. Yeah, I remember that way back in the day. You know, she was very. A lot of her content was unique. Lewd. Unique. Well, and that's the thing. She and was like she, she wouldn't really show nudity. No. And that's how she got so many people to pay. And then she was selling her bath water and it was very popular. And then, you know, after so long, people Shit. you gotta do something different to continue mm-hmm. to get people's attention. You know, that's when she started doing some weird stuff. Like she ended up doing almost like rape kind of porn and then all these different types of nudes and as she had to step out of her boundaries and she started doing anal and all these different things because she was old news and she's got to stay relevant. Mm-hmm. But I remember the bathwater when it happened. Um, yeah. I would never pay for something like that. I don't know. This has got to be for those really degenerate people who got nothing else. I mean, there's, there you know, is, there are, email. I mean, there are needy people. And they, yeah. and they say, and they say they have needs, but your needs are very interesting, bro. <laughs> and so this is a big thing too. Yeah, you make money for it, but is it worth your self respect? Yeah, because you you're definitely losing some of your respect. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe not. I mean, if you were confident enough to do it, um, are you losing self respect for you or other people? Losing respect for you. And I think what it comes down to in the long run is it doesn't matter what other people think about you. It's how you feel about yourself. And lots of, and lots of these, and lots of these creators, they definitely, they definitely uh, say, they definitely feel on top of the world. Right. There's only so high someone can go before they fall back down. Mm -hmm. And that's when people have to try to stay relevant and do 
things that are going to keep people's attention. Because when there's so much, it's a very liquid market. The porn it, or the OnlyFans liquid. and stuff like that. Liquid. <laughs> I'm not liquid. trying to. I see I'm not trying to. I see throw what puns in there. a little. That is, that is the true term. There is so much competition in the market. What can you do so much to liquid. stand out? You know what, man? Squirting videos and make losing self respect. I don't know. You've seen that shit. I mean, squirts pretty much piss. Mm -hmm. But it's. I heard from a podcast because they they uh they had a they they interviewed a star, and there was just like. Can you tell us the truth? And it's like it's like it's basically piss. It's like, but they're like it's the good kind though. It's the good kind of piss. It's like <laughs> you idiots, you idiots. But there's people out there with you know pee fetishes too. Oh my goodness! Like the golden showers and what the have water you work. watched? You make me just wonder <laughs> what have you seen? Man, what haven't I seen? Yeah, what have I had you to do seen? research for this topic, so I had to. Oh, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'll, I had to watch. I them. Okay, I respect that. Now it's just like, what have you done, Zach? Uh, I'm surprised my mind hasn't been fried with all the things. Yeah, I, I'm not yeah, saying because yeah, you're that frying. I you're frying my stuff. mind. You are frying my mind here. <laughs> but there's so much different stuff out there, man. You gotta at least witness it all. Yeah, and it's and it sucks too. That this is their happiness, and we sh and we men struggle to find happiness. <laughs> okay, hold on. What's the weirdest porn you've seen, though? Um. Ah. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I I drew a <laughs> I drew a massive blank because you know I'm not I'm not that I'm not that sort of crazy. Like um, if you can think it, there's probably porn out there, like the furry. Well, yeah, porn. if you can think it, there's probably something out there. But it's like I'm not, I'm not like crazy to like. I have to oh. throw you on the spot. <laughs> but I, but 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 I'm being honest. Like I really don't know because I don't I don't search for like crazy things. Back in right. the, back in the day, like I didn't search for crazy stuff. Oh, back in the day, but nowadays you search for crazy stuff, huh? No. <laughs> no, I'm just... Oh, my goodness. I can't even get up the hill. <laughs> you can't get it up? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, that's a very tough thing to... Oh, my God. I know okay. Them. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to go on a side note, but getting it up and watching porn, porn will literally fry your mind. You know, mm. it, it can lead to, like difficulties and erections and having sex with your partner so is porn a good thing or a bad thing i don't know because you always give me mix mixed reviews okay see here's the thing the there benefits go. got it got it of ma okay Finally. the benefits of masturbating mm -hmm. it helps with stress it helps you know reduce stress it releases like what is it the uh, Oxyto I don't know. It's one like dopamine. It releases dopamine, so it makes you feel happy. Um, it's good for your prostate. Helps reduce your risk of prostate cancer. So that's good. How do, how do you get past this wall? Oh shoot! He's got to um, But then that's the thing. If you watch but too much if, porn but, and stuff yeah, like okay. that, it's starts what? But like, but like you say, reduces your stress. Everyone is like stressed, so they're gonna keep continue that. And then, and then they finally realize, oh shoot! Now I got this problem. But well, I, need, I, I need to, I need to reduce my stress. Well, I, I want to say it's you know maybe in moderation. You you masturbate too much, you're gonna desensitize yourself to, you know, if you watch porn, you're gonna, if you watch too much porn, you could. What's the word I'm looking for? You can almost condition your body. Be like, okay, let's say you You're, watch because because if you watch too much, your body is used to it. Your body wants wants what it sees. Your mind your mind has now calculated that like, oh, you just don't you don't want you don't want basic romance and stuff. You want that, but also with exactly. a little a little spice to it. I see like, this thing. Okay, I'm gonna use. Let's say you watch anal porn all the time, right? 
that's what you masturbate to. That's what you ejaculate to. Um, where the fuck's the hole at? It's a cross. Yeah, so that's what you want to masturbate to. That's what you ejaculate to. That you're going to condition yourself to be like, this is what gets me off. So when you're having sex with your partner and you're not doing anal or you're not doing anything like that, you're going to have difficulties finishing, climaxing. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's in moderation. But like I said, it is good for the prostate. It is good for reducing stress. Um, but with every, you know, upstairs and down. But yeah, but with every, but every pro, there's always going to be a certain con that, that peaks in. Exactly. Uh, you know, but I don't want that, man. <laughs> you know, I, yeah. I, I, like, want, I want some pros, man. I like pros, <laughs> man. Cause like. A pro, it the, feels good. <laughs> okay. What else? How uh, the frick did you get the two? I hate man, you, Zach. I'm a pro at getting it into the hole. Oh my god. You're, um. Oh, man. oh. 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 You went down the wrong hole. You went uh, down. <laughs> well, I went in the back way. <laughs> my bad. Oh my god. Um. Some people like that. <laughs> Not me. But yeah, and like you can desensitize yourself too. You know, with porn, like masturbating too much, you could have difficulties getting erections when you actually what the point what the hell was the point of that ramp it shot me nowhere shot me backwards <laughs> the point of this um, ramp is to angle it yeah and get in the hole <laughs> so it could affect how you and your partner um mm -hmm. have relations and 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 the problem too because you because because you know oh stress feels good but the con is though is like you know you see that you want that and that definitely ruins a good relation i would say because because you won't be able to finish you know it takes a bit longer to finish um and it and it, and it frustrates the lady you know you in my mind when you get that chance with a woman you want it to be perfect. You want it to be great. You want you want her to enjoy it more than you enjoy it. That's how I see it as. You know, to me, to me, and I'm getting I'm gonna get out of content here. Definitely for this episode, we're gonna have to put a warning. <laughs> Just saying. Because we're getting quite deep. <laughs> you know. You know, yeah, I going deep, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so, I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. Don't this don't is be gonna sorry be to me the whole rest of the episode. Yeah, it's like yeah, like don't be don't be sorry to me. Be sorry to the people that are listening. <laughs> um. Okay. In the direction we're going, though, that's one of the things that was one of my bullet points that I wanted to touch on. Mm -hmm. Is you know, porn only fans. Oh, there we go. Fansly. What kind of expectations does it put on men and women in their social, social and personal well, lives? Well, the expectation is that. Some guys, Jesus Christ, you got a two again. What the hell? Anyway, some guys want, expect what they, what they see in made up videos, made up content that they, that they are labeled to this. So they expect that you're not going to expect that you need to go, you need to go in with more thinking that it's more basic romance. That's what you should. That's what you should always remember. Exactly. The kind of stuff mm -hmm. you see on porn, it's very explicit. It's very hardcore. Mm -hmm. In a personal relationship, you know, some people, it's like that. For the most part, it's more sensual, more connection. Um, I, I guess maybe it all depends. There's different types of sex, that is for sure. There's more passionate and there's more rough. And um, I'm big on to the passionate because... Um... Because to me, when I get when I get a chance, I rather rather have <laughs> it to for for me to enjoy it. I need to know that the girl enjoys it. <laughs> will it will has had in, has enjoyed its ex its experience, the expectation that you that you gave it, and that's all good for me. I could care if it's 
if 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 on my end you were you a sloppy woman, you were bad. I don't care. I don't care about that. As long as you enjoyed it, well, yeah. I'm fine with it. Yeah, and, and this, this is gonna get very personal and very too, you know, TMI. Mm. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Nope. That's what she said. Shut up. Um, <laughs> Shut up. We're playing golf. We're playing. We're playing one of the worst games to play <laughs> for this topic. <laughs> It was the perfect game to play for this topic. I guess so. Um, yeah, and, th- this, th- and that's all preference, you know? Like, there's that passionate love making. Mm. There's that, you know, quickie, just fast, a little fast fuck, get it over with. Um, oh, Jesus. I'm stuck in the goddamn sand. But that's a big, that's a big thing. Do I yeah. know some, I know some people enjoy one of, some women enjoy the quickness because if I can get you to, you know, boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom, in in thirty seconds, I'm pleased. Like, okay, wow, because I remember one of, I remember one of one of my friends who was a girl. She always would like would, would like would like say, hey, she would always like talk about that. It's like if I can get you, boom, 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 in in a minute or so. I'm pleased. It's like, it's like, it's like she rather have the quick, the quickie than the ro- right. than the romance. You know, and God damn, I'm very, I, I'm very sure with my shots today. Yikes! And typically speaking, like when you're having intercourse, mm-hmm. it's easier for the man to climax than a female. Yes, yes. From, yes. It, 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 there's more <laughs> concentration involved. There's we're, more we're focusing. Never, men. I'm it's this is the truth, but men are not going to be men will never understand the 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 art that they see in front of them down below. <laughs> and uh, first of all, I just want to say to anybody that's listening, if we misspeak on any of this, you know, if our information, we're guys, we're guys, I, we don't know. We anything. didn't do a whole lot of research. This is just f- knowledge that we've heard or, you know, mm-hmm. discussed about. So Feel free to correct us if anything is incorrect. Mm-hmm. Correct but, us on our golf game too. <laughs> you know we suck. Yeah, my par is not good. Yeah, it's like I can't even get across get across a lot of the stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, tap it slowly here. But yeah, That's I know slow. it's more. Oh, hey. <laughs> I saved myself there. Um, yeah, it's there's more concentration. There's more steps involved. Oh fuck off! Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Yeah, but to yeah, yeah, because I would say through experience with intercourse, I know that there that that I I I always like to ask if if they're doing good still, they enjoying it, and when they pass it on to me, those questions, it's just like, oh, you know, it it don't matter as long as you're fine. I don't care. And and that's where communication yeah is important. Mm-hmm. You know, sex should be to have a good time um, for both people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, not this. <gasps> Ooh, not this dude, one. I can't fucking get across. Not this. Not this. Of, of course, yes, communication's good. Both enjoying it's good. Uh, the passion, the love. Um, but it's just like you know. As long as, as long to me, it's like as long as she's fine with enjoying and fine with it, I'm I'm fine with it. If you can handle the kefster, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hey, you know, this um, is our podcast. Hey, this is hey our Mr. Voices. Sixty Nine over here. I see your fucking score. Oh, I have <laughs> not even been looking at score. I'm trying to figure out stuff. Um, but I, going back to the topic. The porn sets certain expectations, mm-hmm. in and that kind of ruins to me. That yeah, kind of just, that kind of that kind of ruins the, the the realistic. You know, people people you know believe in their own realistics to the world. You know, like sometimes sometimes other people say say that's the realistic, and it's like, is it truly the realistic that 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 is the realistic? Well, you know? yeah, and you you watch this stuff. Let's say you're a female, you got a boyfriend. And you see all this stuff happening in a porno, um, something like that. Mm-hmm. Is it going to make you in, feel inadequate on in the way you perform with your partner? 
is it going to set certain, you know, expectations like, hey, I need to start doing this for my man to be satisfied um, when it's really not just because you see them doing this and porn, um, you know, the rough, hardcore sex, you know, the these other things, like all the different positions, you know, mm -hmm. picking up, I want to yes. say, you know, like facials, cream pies. <laughs> This feels okay. awkward coming out of my mouth as I'm saying. Uh, yeah, true. A uh, good good thing. I uh, I I'm I'm hoping you're 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 by yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> my my fiance is not. Yeah, home. Your, yeah, your fiance would like start beat beating your ass. She's like the Show fuck are you doing? You watching sh porn? I'm showing <sighs> showing who's the boss <laughs> from that amazing TV show. Who's the boss? But yeah, it's gonna make them. It can make them feel like this is what they have to do to perform, you know, mm -hmm. maybe even just seeing like, ah, oh, you know, this, this woman, she's got, you know, big boobs or, you know, she's got a shaved, um, vagina, mm -hmm. pubic area. Um, you know, it's the way they look might be like, Hey, um, I'm going to have to do this as well. And especially in the younger people, they're very easily influenced do you know what i mean uh and emphasize what please. the fuck was that that is yeah. not what i meant by emphasizing <laughs> they're very easily influenced by what they see on the internet mm -hmm. so you might have a younger female who sees this in porn let's say she's a virgin she hasn't had any experience She's very innocent. Oh, and geez, she now they're going to be, like, things. scared. They're going to be scared now. Well, yeah, there's certain expectations. They're going to be like, well, I have to do this, mm. and they may not be comfortable with it, but they're like, well, this is what they do online. I'm going to have to do the same thing if I want to have a man, if I want to please my man. Mm. And it maybe it doesn't have to be female to male. It could be a male who sees, you know, all these different things. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just another thing. You can see a guy in porn. They have a 9, 10, 11-inch penis and you're like well that's the only way i'm gonna that's a, satisfy that's a big, that's my a big woman thing too have you have you seen like like when 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 these uh people go go around on the streets they ask these questions and then they say like what's what's a good size i've seen them like 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 ask ask girls what's a good size and they're saying like that freaking size I'm like why exactly why? i see that all the time and i'm gonna keep it real with you i am very average across nah, the board for me too me too <laughs> so me too. when you see these videos and they're like well i need a 10 inch cock you know and to... a guy <laughs> and a guy who's making 100k a year five to five million a year it's like that's that's not realistic there that is not realistic well yeah you see these things they're like well i need a man that's six five you know who makes six figure income who's got a 10 inch cock mm -hmm. and, and it's putting certain you know expectations once again Mm -hmm. on these people like i said i'm 5'7 I'm you know you i'm never gonna be taller you are, you are. you're 5'7 wow wow I'm i like never i gonna didn't be know taller. that so that's where I... you got to be confident in your own body and that's yeah, def definitely, where these definitely. people in only fans they are confident in their material to put out there with the... yeah with when you say confidence in their body style like i can agree with that because i remember during the during COVID, where where I just started getting back into the gym because I wanted to have have the body that I that I would be happy with, and when you when you say that they, that you got you got live you got live live by it show show that you're pleased with it I re, I, re, I remember my my gym buddy he would be lifting lifting those 60, 65, 70 dumbbells, and then he comes to me and says grab those fifteens. Do you know? Do you know how disappointing that that is? I know I'm a beginner, but it's just like, dang man, that sucks. I can't even go to 25s or anything. So it's like I grab the. I remember when I when I grab those, when I grab them, and I freaking strut back. I strut back to my to my section, and I and I showed the world that I own those 15 pounders. <laughs> and you see, that's where. And once again, it all comes back to expectations. You know, mm. you see these things. These people are fit. They got abs. They got muscles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I, I got borderline ba- uh, dad bod. <laughs> borderline dad bod, but somehow, though, you the stuff that you inhale, mister, the chips, the sodas. Okay, I think it, I am just it, blessed it, with good genes. I yeah. eat so much junk food, yeah, and like, I still so only weigh, one, food, I weigh 135. You're skinny, bro. I weigh 135, and I eat like a 400-pound person. Mm-hmm. And then here is me. I am six foot, possibly six foot one, and 183 pounds. See, and, I blame it on my uh, Mexican jeans. And I'm short. Uh, well, no, I was gonna say <laughs> and 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 for you to not. And that is the your 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 gene is different than mine because when I. When I take taking those chips. Taking that soda, I make I I basically kind of like, like um, what is it? What is it? Uh, it's I I'll just say watch myself. Like I don't do like a little Weight Watcher style thing. It's just like I just basically watch what I'm watch what I'm doing because I don't want to go crazy on it. You know. Right. Well, I've been the same since college. I have had a big experience weight weight back and forth. When I grew when I was growing up a lot, I I uh my weight my weight was like basically all over the place, you know. It used to be good, used to be bad, then it got then it stayed the same stuff. My freshman year, I was I was what I would define myself as a fat as as a fatty to myself. I weighed about two up in the two tens, two twenties, and I was and I was like like probably your your height at the time, and it was just uh, crazy, crazy. And I remember the end of freshman year because I because I did not like what I what I heard out of the doctor's doctor's voice, so I took charge and I lost. I lost uh, about like sixty pounds. I I weighed like one fifty by the end of of uh, my my freshman year of high school. That's good. Yeah, but then as but then I started to grow a little bit more taller. And then uh, got to understand more of what the basic weight needs to be for certain heights. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I was, like, 6 foot 5, 6, 6, you know, 200 is definitely the weight you need to be at, you know? Right. Because I never never knew that, you know? I still have a little belly, but it's not, like, crazy. But it's, like, when I see this thing, it's, like, I want to get rid of this. I need this to be, like, fit. No more jiggling. Need more fit. See, now, do you feel that way because that's what you want? Or do you feel that way because you see other people who look that way and you're like, I need to be like that? It's like it's like a combination of, of like, <laughs> it's a combination of both because, you know, you experience getting bullied. You experience the negativity that you always got. And then, and then the people that you, like, look, look up to. They're like in this. They're like, oh shit! I went too hard there. My bad. My bad. I went out of bounds. But I, uh, you know, they they look in shape. They they like cared about their their body and stuff like that. So they wanted to. So you know, you look up to these people, and when you want to be right. like these people, you want to be like that. Sometimes you can look up to people by their career path that they did, not not because of their look. You know, you can look at their career. And you're like, I want to be like that. I like, I like the path that they did, you know. Okay, so let's just. Oh, so close. Now, your preference in partners, your females. Mm-hmm. Do you prefer that? Are you throwing? Are you gonna throw shade at me? No, 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 no. Are no. you gonna I'm throw shade saying. at me? No, I'm just saying. Are you just when like you... everyone? Do you want to throw shade at me because of like the when, people that I? When you watch porn, is that what you expect? In your no. partner, like, no. well, not even that. I'm just saying, like, looks. Like, okay, I want looks? someone no, who not, looks like that. Not really. No, not really. Because so the, porn doesn't people, have any effect on like your looks? preference outside, like well, you know, looks and stuff. 
there could there could possibly be, but that's but but I don't know on that. Okay, let's, I let's, just, do you do you look up porn for the type of female you prefer? Does that make sense? Like, okay, let's say yes, you prefer sense, like I, a, a, a tiny say... white girl. Are you looking up tiny white girl porn? No. Uh, are you just watching whatever? Watching piques whatever, your interest. Probably. Yeah, piques piques the interest, I guess. And you know, that's basically too with like with like dating wise. You know, like why did you why did you go with Chloe? Something something probably that you like liked about her peaked peaked the thing. How the frick did you do that? Like I said, I'm pro. But yeah, you go there's the gotta table? be. A... He went on the table. He went on the table. He went on the table. I see. There's got to be a level of physical attraction and emotional mm. attraction, I would say. And I'm very much attracted to Chloe in all those ways. Mm -hmm. But she could have been, she could have not been white. She could have been Asian. She could have been something else. Um, oh my God, I'm missing. I, I don't know. It's very hard to say. Mm -hmm. Um. But like at least when I look up pornography, I'm not looking up strictly. Yeah, I'm not looking up crazy what, stuff. You know, you just go to the today's selection and you just search from there. I'm not getting all specific or anything like mm -hmm. that. Um. But yeah, it's. I don't know, porn is interesting in so many ways. There's good from it. There's bad from it. I will say though, how do you feel? When you watch porn, it's like a fifty-fifty thing because you know, you know, it's like it's like you, you're you're in the mood, you know. Of course, it does that like little stress, your stress thing that you say, you know, good, good, good relief. But after you're, but let's just say after you have done it, after you have done it, how do you feel? Do you just like go, Ugh, or it's just like you know, not bad. I want to say it could be different other time, like mm -hmm. from time to time, you know, there's, um, so, you know, you watch porn, you, you jerk off, you come clean up, call it a day. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Basically there's sometimes, you know, it's just another day you do it. Well, it's just like, you um, can't, can you ever be impressed by yourself though? Cause I, cause I don't feel like I ever got, I, I don't feel like that there ever is that thing. I mean, Impressed how be like, off. Oh, I mean, you see, you see porn where they're they're coming like ropes and mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> so much. And then you're just you're just there, just like oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah just like, well, they come, they make the noise or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. in what do you just shoot as like just a little squirt, like a hand pump, or are you shooting like fucking rockets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, can you be impressed by by the by the action you have done? I don't know if impressed is the right the right word. Well, what's the right word then, man? Are you content? Are you okay oh, with shoot. what you just did? Oh shoot. I don't know there was a there was an out of bounds there. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. I don't know. Here's a, on a completely different note. Your religion. Someone who's very religious uh religious Oh, that wait for marriage and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it could be a completely different experience, you know? Like, they look at porn, they're like, oh, no, that's not for me. I mean, even in general, like, oh, porn's not my thing. Um, it's going to corrupt the mind. You're waiting to marriage. I don't know. It's... Mm -hmm. Let me, let me see. Do you feel happy? After you have watched porn and you've masturbated and you've finished, most of the time, do you feel happy? Most of the time, no, because it's just like, it's just like, why am I doing this? Why can't someone else do this for me? <laughs> Pretty much, like, like, why am I doing this? Why can't? Because, because now, because now you just because it's because it's like when you because like when you do it, and when you when it happens, you you just get that like lonely feeling thing it's just like gosh i'm doing this because i'm alone i just don't have i just don't have that passion or like love that i used to have 
because that kind of kept that kind of that kind of kept kept you away from from all this nonsense you know See, you, and, you, yeah you had a better out a better a better output instead of instead of the industry they're always there for you it's like you 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 had a better go go to you know you didn't really like 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 the person care like the person you're with cares about you a lot and you know that's that's more that's that's a better feeling than like watching right yeah and i will say it's a very different feeling mm-hmm. when you climax alone and you climax with your partner. Yes. Like you yes. said, you do it by yes. yourself. You're like, why am I yeah, doing why? this? There's no why? need to do it. Most yeah, of the time no when guys masturbate, it's really because we can. I mean, yeah, and, maybe, and maybe it's, you're... And, more- it's, and, it's not, and it's not like an, an illegal thing. It's, it's, it's a common thing from what my... From what a previous boss told me. From previous previous boss that i that i had that i have uh just like said because you know it's just like you know if 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 for some reason this happens with with a certain person you know we can't be upset with them because it's a common because it's the common it's it's not it's not it's not it's not an illegal thing you know right it's like a nat it's just a natural thing that people do. yeah it's definitely natural i want to say there's different reasons mm-hmm. for males and females you know a man might masturbate just because he wants to. Maybe he's horny. He, you know, really, it's just because, hey, you know what? I'm alone. I have some free time. Let's do it. For a female, it could be a completely different reason. Mm-hmm. Yes. A lot of females I know would usually masturbate because it helps them fall asleep at the end of the night. It, you know, it relaxes the body. I don't think that does that for, for, for a man. Because I think, because I think men, we get in our heads a lot, and that's and that's and that's one thing that 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 one of my close friends tells me about. Because I, I remember my last relationship, you know, I always I always was like concerned about my stuff that I did, and like concerned about who I was compared to the people that that she was with in the past, and like and well, like I think is it, it is it is it me is it me? It's like no, you're just getting in your head, and I do that too. It's just a common thing that we do. It's just how men are. Because we, we, I think it's the we, other way around. I think women will tend to get more in their head than males. Well, yes, they do. They do. We all we all do, you know. But I just know from previous previous relationship, I was just like, oh my goodness, is it is it me and stuff like that? But it's just like you know. And, you know, it stems back to, you know, they have different partners. You're like, am I good enough? Am am I I going to satisfy? And that's a big, and that's a big thing with, like, society nowadays, you know? You know, it's tough. It's tough to, like, it's tough seeing commitment because they're always just like, am I good enough? And, like, they, you could, and, like, it can, it can happen to, to however many years down, down the road you are with this person it could be and with it could be like 11 years from now you're you're you seem everything's good and then it's just they just leave you because they because all that time they're just like i never i didn't know if i was still good enough <laughs> and well that's the thing with the generation nowadays mm-hmm. the commitment is very rare to find it's more of like how many partners can i have Yes, that's basically a big. That's that, that that's a that's a common thing now. It's just like basically like how how many can I put on my my body my, count? my body count? Yeah, my body count. Um. Oh God, what was I gonna say? Um. I I, I it can be anybody. You can just get in your head. There mm-hmm. is. I'm very confident. In my relationship i'm very confident in my performance in the bedroom i will say however there has been a time uh, <laughs> a couple times before where you know you really do get in your head mm-hmm. and you can't perform well you know it's like hey i'm sorry you know <laughs> like this i this hate that too i'm just thing. like i'm sorry i just 
Uh, and you and you, you were able. You try every method to get back into it. You and start like, shaking things like, around. Yeah, and like and like and like and then and then you, my lady, were were able to get it on in five in within the five to ten minutes. And we're on minute fifteen, and I still cannot get anywhere. Yeah, I mean, there's ah! been times where, and I it has nothing it. to do with my partner, but I've like lost erections for like no reason mm -hmm. and then you get in that's your head you're like well no i gotta yeah. you're like mm -hmm. i gotta get back into it and then you're still in your head it. and you can't gotta, gotta smack it uh, smack, <laughs> smack, 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 smack it around wake up god damn it <laughs> come on come on clear <laughs> <laughs> live i know you got live. it in you champ live um <laughs> it, it could happen to anyone at any time um, I don't think that it stems from, you know, like pornography usage. Mm -hmm. um, but more power to you if you do OnlyFans. I'm just going to say I will, I will never support your I cause because Sorry. I will never pay for something I can get for free. Yeah. I, so I want even free. then, I, I, I don't need free. to pay for, mm -hmm. you know, a naked person when I have a loving partner. Who can be hooking good naked just like, just, <laughs> just say naked. Oh, hello. Look at that. Um, I don't think it works like that. That's uh Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> it's, it's not snapping have the you, fingers have you tried? undress. Have you tried? <laughs> undress. Uh, I'm not going to try that. I like to, to live. I don't want to be <laughs> murdered. Can she really Okay, so you're telling me that she has that she has pinned you down more than you have pinned her down. Is that what um, I'm hearing? We're not getting into my um Is that what I'm hearing, Zach? That's not a she, she, a fetish of mine, you know, maybe she, like she has taken you down more, even if it's not part of part of the get down tonight thing. Just what, in what's general, my safe be, word? Apples. Just in just Apples. in general, you're just sitting on that couch and she just pones you down. It's like God, man. It's like I was just trying to enjoy this <laughs> bag of chips. I was trying to watch The Walking Dead, and uh, <laughs> who said you can? I'm not gonna go there. Mm -hmm. um, that could be another expectation that yeah. you know women might see in porn. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. In the end, whatever makes you happy. Mm -hmm. If that means watching porn and masturbating, if that means making content, if that means being with your partner, I will say I think I've seen a lot. I've done a lot. But I know what makes me happy, and I know what I like, and I I, I, I don't know. This got really serious really quick. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I can see something in porn, but I, you know, will never expect my partner yeah. to do something she's not comfortable with. Mm -hmm. So I can see all these things. I'm like, hey, you know, they do that. But I'm never going to put her in an uncomfortable situation. Well, like, they did it. I need you to do that. We both got to be on the same page. Otherwise, it takes any sort of fun yeah, out like of the moment. To, it takes any trust. We to, yeah, we need, to, we need to make something that, that's suitable for us, not just not just one person. Make this a team effort thing. You right. know. Yeah. Right. But yeah. But yeah. I think that, that was all the bullets I yeah. had. And on, yeah, because I was about to say, and on that note. And on that, for, th for um, the people. Thanks yeah. for coming. <laughs> God okay, dang it. I'm sorry. You, you have a problem. <laughs> you have a problem. I think you need to look at that. But you know, in reality, people out there, you do what you like to do. You do what you do how you feel. If you there is no more, right or wrong. There is no right or wrong answer, as I say in class. But I mean, in you class, know, there are definitely are, some stupid answers. Yeah, we are, <laughs> we are all, we are all human beings here. It's just how we are. If we get judged, we get judged. We just have to live with it, and just move forward a lot. I, you do I, what you. I, I, I just want to say, don't judge anyone for what they mm -hmm. like to do. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's got their own preference. They, Everyone's got their own preference. I wouldn't judge anyone for yeah. what they like and don't like. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but, I mean, uh, other than that. Other than that, thank you 
Thank you, everyone, to who was listening today in this very unique podcast. Um, don't know I what. That, 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 well, I I hope that some of it resonated yeah. with you. And yeah. like I said, if we said anything incorrect that may not be true, um, definitely correct us. Yeah, because we are guys. Um, usually I say, give us your experience. I mean, you're more than welcome to. Yeah, if you want. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but if you're leaving it in the comments down below. Make sure to make it appropriate because YouTube does crack down on things, and we do not want you to get in trouble for, for the for the words that you accidentally use when you're expressing it in the comments down below. But but finally, hopefully I can finish this off. Thank you everyone to who has listened. We will see. Oh my goodness, I messed up on that. <laughs> we will see you guys in the in the next podcast. Take two. Yeah, take two. Thank you so much for listening. We will see you all in, in our next podcast. I'm Kev. I'm Kevin. Over there is my co-host Zach, and we will see you next time. And make sure to keep that experience unlocked and be ready to level up. Thank Goodbye, you. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>